Hello students, welcome to lecture number 15. Topic for today's session is Process Product Matrix. I am Dr. Rohan Prabhakar Rivale. Welcome you all. The subject is Operations and Supply Chain Management. This is online lecture series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Learning objectives for today's sessions are to know the basic concepts of process product matrix, to understand matching measure stages of the matrix. We will start with the concept process product matrix. Concept The process product matrix describes a series of stages that the production process passes through. The process evolution begins with a heavy flexible process that is not very cost efficient. As time passes, the process becomes more standardized, mechanized and automated. The end of the cycle is characterized by a well systematic process that is very efficient but extremely capital intensive and inflexible. Similarly, products go through the life cycle stages that we are more familiar with than the process counterpart. Process Product Matrix The process life cycle is illustrated by a product process matrix which represents the interaction of the product and process life cycles. The row represents the stages through which a production process passes that is flexible from the top row and systematic form in the bottle row. The column represents the different product life cycle phases that is great variety startup phase on the left hand side to standardized commodity mature phase on the right hand side. A company can be characterized by its position on the matrix. The positions that is called as regions are determined by the company choice of production process and the stage on the product life cycle. The particular product is in. This is the typical figure of product process matrix matching major stages of product and process life cycle. This is adopted from Hayes and Wilwright. On the x axis, we can see product structure and product life cycle stages. On the y axis, we can see process structure and process life cycle stages. In the middle, there are examples of the industries. First, we will take example of commercial printer. So commercial printer is an example where low volume, low standardization, one of a kind. And operation process is recommended as job shop or jumble flow. Second is the example of heavy equipment. Multiple products, low volume is the product structure. The operation process here is the batch process where discontinued line flows are there. Next example is automobile assembly. Here the product structure is few major products and higher volume. Operation process here is connected line flow that is assembly line. The last example is sugar refinery. Here the product structure is high volume and high standardization commodities. Here, the operation process is continuous flow. Similarly, there are regions where no companies are there like low volume and standardization of a kind and continuous flow. Such example is not there. Similarly, job shop operation process where high volume and high standardization commodities are there such example or such industry is not there in existence. So this is product process matrix. You can pause the video and you can read and carefully understand this process product matrix. Moving on, for example, a company or maybe a business unit in the upper left hand corner would probably produce a product where each job is unique and capacity is rarely used at 100%. Look at the another figure where on the x axis there are volume and on the y axis we can see variety. 
volume can be categorized as low volume, medium volume and high volume. Whereas variety can be classified as low variety, medium variety and high variety. So if we take the example of job shop production, in the job shop production, the volume is typically low while the variety is very high. Similarly, take the example of continuous production where the variety is extremely low but at the same time volume is extremely high. And as far as batch production and mass production are concerned, here the volume is medium and variety is also medium. Company or business unit in the lower right hand corner would most likely produce a product which as commodity where the production process is continuous, a capital intensive and inflexible. Natural flow of matrix is a negatively sloped line from top of the corner to the bottom right. Although some companies may deviate slightly from the line no company would produce a product either the upper right and lower left corner where the product would be too specialized or the process too uneconomical. However, if the company cannot find a way to exploit the advantages of its particular niche, it becomes more vulnerable to attract attacked from competitors. As a company moves further from the diagonal, it becomes increasingly dissimilar from its competitors. In certain instances, this may prove to be an advantage. This is the book of Operations and Supply Chain Management from Simba Publication. In my next video, we will understand job production concept. Learning outcomes from today's session, we have understood the basic concept of process product matrix. We have seen matching major stages of process product matrix. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on bell icon for the further notifications. Thanks for watching from Dr. Rohan Prabhakar Dehwale. These are some references I have used to prepare this video. Thank you. Keep learning. Keep watching.